this is your Minesphere landing page, and on here you can you can see a few things. Um, and today we're just going to focus on the apps. Um, one of them, um, I believe, is free, so the Fleet Manager, and you've seen that on a previous blog. But I'll quickly look at that. Um, and then we have um, a couple of apps that you get with the the Value Pack uh, from uh, from Mysphere which is Performance Insights, which is something for creating dashboards, and Notifier. So we'll have a look at these three, three apps. I have my data coming in from a Namor um, open architecture heart collector, um, soon to be released from Siemens. And also uh, I have another instrument connected to a um, mine connect 2040 and that is um, transmitting the data over modbus 485 so what i'm trying to do here is give you two devices that don't affect your normal operation so in the water industry for instance you, you may be using your 4 to 20s and your relays um, but a lot of your level controllers uh, will have um, Modbus on and a lot of your level transmitters, your two wire de devices will have heart on. So uh, we can strip the digital data out of both of these instruments um, and bring them to the MindSphere platform. And when we go into this, so what, what is Fleet Manager? Fleet Manager is a tool for looking at your historical data in, in a trend. We're going to take a look at the data being transmitted from the Modbus device, which is a level controller. And what you get is your, your, your graph with all your historic data on, and you can zoom in and you can turn these off and, and sometimes like you get an insight when you when you look at a trend on, on some things happening that you may not be aware of but that's what it is it's it gives you a, a, a graphical trend view of your data and you can go back days weeks months and, and, and look at that data know, knowing that it's secure on the on the Mindsphere platform um, some nice features on this, you can put um, your own notes, so if you if you think, you know, you see a strange re reading, then you can click on this button down here. So it may be that somebody on site has, has done something, so you just want a bit of information, you've got your date and time there, and we'll say right, we have to associate it to a level or a, a, a a process value so um, we'll pick today's date and today's time if I click create that there is my information so I can also program rules on this to, to give you alarms that will will appear in here um, so you can add a certain amount of rules. You're limited on the, the rules depending on your on your license, but these would just be like um, alarms. Yeah. So uh, if we get select the variable, it could be uh, the flow rate for, for this one. We'll go to step two, um, define the rule. Uh, and then we just want it as an information. And we get that alarm um, will appear in our information. So on this tab here, I can add um, my info and I'll have my alarms and, and everything else where the device is actually installed. So I won't call it basic, but it, it, um, for something that's, um, that comes with your, your MySphere package anyway, it's a good way of visualizing your, your information and, and trends. So if we go back to the dashboard, the next one we want to take a look at is, is really creating your own dashboards. And, um, and that app is Performance Insight. So this is a 
dashboard that I've already produced for, for uh, performance insights. And I, I've created my own dials. So um, we're looking at a um, open channel flow application here, as you can see some typical examples on the screen at the moment. These um, dials, I'll show you how to configure one of these in a minute. Each one of these, you can set your red and orange on, on here in your full scale. Um, these are purely for indication. They're not going to trigger a email alarm. So we'll, I'll show you how to do that with uh, another app called Notifier. So each one of these is instantaneous data. I think it's updating every minute. There you go. We just saw that update. Um, and what I've done here, these trends are the 15 minute average of your daily total. So I've got your daily total there. That's your 15 minute average of it. And then your flow rate, that's the 15 minute average. And all of these values are, are digital. And here we have your echo confidence. Um, and all of these values are also being obviously logged in the background. So if you want to go on to your echo confidence and see your trend, you can click on this little button here and I can see that I've had some uh, jumping around down to, to zero. So this is where um, I have been purposely putting uh, cover on it to make it fail. Um, but at the moment you can see 44 decibels. So again, um the dial if i go back to my plant is purely for indication it's not sending out any alarms so we're gonna have a look at setting a few of these up just so you can see how simple it is but i really i, I picked this up and within an hour i created this dashboard um and that's going from never using it before what i'll show you now is just to how to add one of these dials and put your limit alarms on it for visualization and how I generated um, these trend views to do 15 minute averages. So we'll, we'll create rather than putting anything else on, 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 on that dashboard, we're going to create a, um, a new dashboard and we'll call this demo. And I'm interested in the time range to be a day. Click on create and then we have our, our dashboard but nothing is on it so we'll create our first widget and we'll start off with a gauge and on here um, I'm, I'm going to call this level and I want to see that every minute and then we'll select a parameter and this as i said the data is already there so um i'm not having to to go hunting uh, i can i can bring in data from various uh, sites so i i might i might be interested in the status of of, of of a few of my vessels for for one part of production or if it's the water industry i might be looking at the my uh total uh, flow into a network and my total flow out something very basic uh, here I'm going to bring back my head and you can just leave that as average because it's one minute or you can just have it as the last value okay so it will average the value over a minute but we're, we're sending the data every minute anyway so um, if we come on to to this bit this is where you put your warnings so for this particular device I am scaled 0 to, to 300 mil um, so on here my high level I'm going to put 250 and then I'm going to have a warning at 220 and I could, I'm not interested in my low level alarms I could put another label on here if I want um, and if I click continue, now it's asking for my operating range. So this is a bit like your lower range, lower uh, range value and your upper range value on your four to twenty. But because it's digital, you know I, it doesn't really matter. But I have to put something on there for the dial. Um, so zero to three hundred. I've already set the units when I 
brought the data into Minesphere. So I don't have to worry about doing that here because it's going to read that and, and bring in my units. And if I finish, the beauty of it is if you use your current, it actually works quite nicely with the zoom function on your on, on your standard um, Chrome browser, for instance. So there's your dial. That was relatively easy to, to set up. So if you go back to settings, and we'll add a new widget. So you can see that up here. I'll just zoom in so you can see new widget. And this time um, we'll look at putting a diagram in, which is a trend. And for, for this, I'm going to do level again. Um, but this is seen. I'm already using that. Okay, and I want it to be every 15 minutes. Select my parameter. Well, I'm just going to use the same parameter just to, to show you. Okay, and all of these these values coming in are are floating point um, uh, double words from the instrument, so they're pretty damn accurate anyway. Uh, I'm going to leave that on average now. I know it makes more sense because I'm averaging my instantaneous value over 15 minutes. Again, I can put alarms on here, so um, to, to, to tie it in with my, my other trend. If you want to, you can add multiple values to, to, to one trend, and I can, I can add a new axis as well, just in case I've got units being mixed up. But I'm going to just leave it for, for one value, and if we have a look at this now, I can see my average head, um, and that's my 15 minute average. When I click on finish, that's all saved. So really easy to use to be honest um, and a good way of seeing your data remotely what I haven't tried yet is see, seeing how this looks on on a mobile phone so I'll connect that up next and and see what these dashboards look like on, on a smaller device I have my phone connected I've already logged into my MySphere account via my mobile phone and apart from a, a small delay on my Wi-Fi at home, uh, everything is working really well on the screen on both devices. So that is Performance Insight, and uh, as I said, it's purely uh, visualization. There's there's no way from this that I can see at present where it will push alarm notifications out to to different users. So we'll have to have a look at another app for that. I hope that was useful. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and don't forget to share this and ask people to subscribe. And we'll have a look at um, uh, the Notifier app on the next video. So thanks for listening.